Well, if you were here, this is hard to forget. Mm. I mean, this is more than three years ago now, but fire ravaging a historic elementary school in Tampa. After undergo undergoing a massive $26 million renovation, the school is now ready to welcome back students under a whole new name. Tampa Heights Elementary is located along East Columbus Drive, and Eight on Your Side's Ryan Hughes gives us a tour of the new campus. Good evening. Eight on Your Side got a tour of the new Tampa Heights Elementary School. Leaders did all they could to salvage old pieces of the school for the new one, including this flooring, which, as you can see, is now part of a brand new wall. Not a lot could be saved after the devastating fire to Robert E. Lee Elementary School in 2017, now renamed. Many of these bricks are original. These tiles, also originals, were built into the main staircase as a way to look ahead after a huge setback. We really um, have been working very hard to make sure that we preserve some of the history while at the same time we're going to be starting new traditions. Those new traditions will begin next month after three years of being away. Principal Wendy Harrison says 325 little ones and 55 staff members will return to the school. Some already got a sneak peek. Words cannot explain how how it was um, but now we opened the building to the new staff and they came and we had teachers dancing up the steps. We had teachers hugging on the wall. Workers spent more than a year and a half on construction. John Shea is the project's senior superintendent. To see Wendy's uh, faculty walking in and seeing the expression on their face when they, you know, they first walk in and, and uh, realizing what they had and realizing now, you know, what the districts provided for them. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's prideful and it's heartwarming for me. A piece of history destroyed, now back to life as a place where lessons will be learned, including a lesson on bouncing back. You could call it one for the books. Students and staff will return to the new school on January 4th. Reporting in Tampa, I'm Ryan Hughes, 8 on your side.